Hello, everyone. It's so nice to be here. Um, thank you. I'm not really talking about art ever these days. I'm talking about why, how, how much, when. That gets kind of boring. I'm trying to figure out ways that artists, the, the three artists inside me, trying to figure out ways that artists can actually use this podium to, to try things and maybe instead of um, talking about art, to, to be art. So I'm going to try to be art instead of trying to represent myself who has been art. The judgment. The creative works sublime success, furthering through perseverance. In the beginning, there are the mysteries of this world. In the slow cool of ignorance in the face of the mountain and sky and the things beyond the sky. If we suffer, at best, we start to lay hold to the secret sounds of the wind and the nature of timber. At worst, a tree will fall and we will think it dead. A person will fall and we will think them dead, forgetting that nothing leaves this world fully. Now, when the white man comes and the Negro sees he wants to buy chintu, uh, natives things, he will be somewhat surprised that the European who can make for himself so many things that are more beautiful and better has a desire for such things. But he can approve of this matter. A slippery rock retains the sledge from jumping salmon, the marks of a black polar eating, and the specks of feldspar and cooled earth embedded in its low fixed place, always there, never saying, never needing to say. Just there for time, the slow erosion revealing its beauty and decay. The people as a rule were perfectly willing to sell all their belongings at their own price. And only upon one occasion did we meet with a Batitella who declined to sell his curios. Instead, he said that he would allow his drummer to perform for us while we sat at dinner in the evening. Hey, hey mama, hey mama, hey. And then there was Brancusi. Then everything was okay. Oh, yeah. Man, them Africans knew that shit. Them Africans knew what they were doing. Look at them lips. Look at them curves. I'm going to call this the Negress. Baby face. Yeah. Yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah, mama. Yeah, mama, mama. Yeah, 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 mama. Yeah, mama. Time is longer than the rope, and the curious initiate clings to the mountain and cannot hop. The initiate is looking for the rope, and the rope is eroding. The acolyte depends on a clock and not the sun or the congregation of suns, but this requires seeing. 
How can we see the sun and know that time is longer than the rope? It is when the eyes are closed and our hooves are strong that the mountain will reveal both its limitations and its desire to see the warrior become stronger. Time is longer than the rope. To be sure, the ethnologist must always be watchful. He must, as it were, participate unseen in the buying transactions. These black buyers are always ready to refuse an age-old broken object simply because it can no longer be used. You must not forget that the Negro cannot comprehend that we Europeans have a lack of understanding, as he call it, to store such things in museums. The Negro assumes that we use the makeup box to put our makeup in it. The bow to use in war, the ancestral effigies for religious purposes, and so forth. Thus, the Negro will never really understand why an ancient broken object is more valuable to me than the one that was made recently and shows no traces of wear. Sun burns snow and sends clear water down the mountain. It is caught in the paddy fields and creates culture and architecture, rice and a way of working. Sun and snow and rice and the race like goats to the edge of night. And this will work in Vietnam or Alabama, both Vietnam and Alabama black rice for jumping fish, and Negro songs for reliquary. Hey, hey mama, hey mama, hey mama. This is the rock of ages, the approved hoodoo of the postmodern. Here are the purposes of conjuring. I will diagnose your afflictions caused by magic. Discover those who had cast spells. Search out and destroy the tricks of affliction. Cure your conjured soul. Turning back the spells, bringing light to the mountain and a new day to the world of art. Thank you. I would I'd like to ask you about being art um, versus this idea that I often hear that, um, it's hard to say this, that there's nothing new, that, that art today is rearranging what already exists. Do you know what I'm asking? I don't know if art was ever about new. Maybe for me, art was about inspire was about like And it's reasonable that if you live by the water and you wake up in the morning and you're a painter, you might paint the water. And lots of people have painted the water. And it's okay. But then it was like there were schools of water painters. Not like water painting, but water paint, painting. There were, you know, there were these different schools, so like you'd see the water like this, I'd see the water like that, and then in some way there, there would be this evolution of seeing, you know. But it wasn't that, that water had changed or that the material had become something different, that, but there, was, there were ways of seeing over time that seemed inspired by maybe the thing before it and the burden to do something different that is kind of the same but a little bit different that um, I'm going to make an acute stroke and you're going to make a fluffy stroke and we're, I'm going to close my eyes and just you know, use you know, blue. I'm going to think water and then paint and then that'll be a painting about water. That's, that's contemporary. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to think. And it's like, I don't need a painting, I'm thinking about water. I'm going to write the theory of water. And if that's true, that there is no new thing, and there's never been a new thing, then what I hope we continue to have is um, 
a life that's inspired and a, a life that feels like a calling, a life that feels like uh, I'm compelled to continue to make water, not because it's new or old, but because that's what I'm compelled to do. And it's only in those moments when you're compelled beyond markets and externalities and the burden, the external burden to create, it's, it's when the internal burden, you know, from then like on, you, you know, you'll, every day you'll go back to it and you'll just, um, you'll just chart time. You'll just, you'll just count because you're compelled to count. Not that time is new, but that, that counting is just inspired. Yes, ma'am. Would you sing us some more? Oh, I, I can feel the tension brewing in my belly. <laughs> How many people identify as black in here? Raise your hand. She identifies as black. I love this. Um, I got to take a black toll. Yes, great. She was from Africa. This is, this is how you want to end. This is how you want to end. Because time is longer than the robe. Time is longer than the robe. Time is uh, longer. Time is uh, longer. Rope is long. Uh, wood is strong. But time is uh, Time is a long no. no, no, that, that wasn't a performance. That, that was a re response. Black people, raise your hands again. So we got to deal with this. White woman says, white woman from Africa, African woman, wh white woman. Woman from Africa, African woman. African woman says, would you sing again? From a good place. She's, she's from a good place. She's coming from a good place. She's coming from a good place. But I'm up here. I am the embodied Negro experience right here. I have to make a choice. And you guys, have, you will be my counsel. Counsel, counsel of blackness. <laughs> when an African woman who happens to be white, who is white, asks you to sing. Where are my black people at? Raise your hand. Now, put your hands down. I run the risk. After af having done a, a fairly articulate job up here, being funny, being open, being a good, articulate African-American citizen. I run the risk of a kind of buffoonery if I do this thing right now. We're all being transparent, because Canadians are transparent. We open accounting, the logistics, time. Canadians know a lot about time. Trains, Canadian national. I don't know what to do right now. Because I feel like I've been transparent. I've been transparent. We've, we're talking about it, and I feel better. She's African, which is complicated for, for you brown African people. She was born like you're Canadian. Like, you identify as, how do we identify? Oh my god, this is so, I'm getting warm. This is, this is complicated. Council. Feel your boundaries. Feel my boundaries. God. Thank you all so much for coming out. <laughs>